What we have right here is Samsung's brand new Galaxy S23 Plus. Not the Ultra, not the regular, and for many people, this could be the Goldilocks phone, which is not too small and not too expensive, and of the whole lineup, this was strangely the one that I was most excited about. So let's dive into this. There's a lot to talk about here. I was able to go hands-on with this phone for a couple hours before launch, and so I have some thoughts I wanna share about it. So let's start off with the design. Although the S23 Ultra may look pretty familiar, a lot like the S22 Ultra, the S23 and S23 Plus are a pretty drastic redesign compared to the previous generation. This is a large change from the S22 Plus, which otherwise I thought didn't really look as much like a flagship. So I think Samsung did a really good job here of redesigning this to match the floating camera design of the Ultra. There are four different colors. Uh, there's a lavender, a cream color, a black, and a kind of a dark green as well. They're all very muted, kind of subtle colors. Personally, I really like the green one as well as the cream one. Uh, but uh, again, those are the same colors across the entire lineup. So once again, Samsung is really making you feel like the whole S lineup is really a flagship lineup and not like this strange combo they had before where it was like the flagship Ultra and then the other two upper mid-rangers that they kind of didn't want you to buy, but maybe they did. But now it's like, it doesn't matter which one you buy. Same floating camera design, same colors. It's really like a more cohesive lineup, in my opinion, that I think was a really good move on Samsung's part. And also the design of the S23 Plus includes some boxier edges that, in my opinion, feel really nice in the hand. So I've always been a fan of boxier phones. The iPhones, for example, I really like how they came back to that boxy design because it makes it easier to hold. You're not going to be dropping your phone as often. Um, easier, I don't know, just it looks really nice as well. That's definitely a personal preference, but for me, I've always been a big fan of that. Now it's not as boxy as the iPhones, no sharp edges on here, but it's a little bit more square than they were in previous generations. Of course, on the back, we have Gorilla Glass Victus 2, and the rails on here are what Samsung's calling Armor Aluminum, and that's gonna be giving it IP68 water resistance, as we'd expect from a lot of flagship phones. But flipping over to the front, this is a 6.6 .6 inch AMOLED flat display with 120 hertz, it's full HD+, and although that's not quad HD+, it still looks great. Like if there's one thing Samsung does really well, it's displays. And so after using this one for a couple hours, I, I mean, absolutely, it's a great display and I really have nothing to complain about there. Even though it's not quad HD, I still think like it looks really nice and most users out there probably wouldn't uh, be bothered by the difference, maybe even not notice the difference. This also has the same fast wireless charging we're seeing on the Ultra, has reverse wireless charging and it has what Samsung calls super fast charging 2.0, the same as the Ultra, which is 45 watt wired charging. And the battery on here is 4,700 milliamp hours, which is only 300 milliamp hours less than the Ultra, and yet the display is definitely a bit smaller than the Ultra, so I would expect that there's a good chance that this battery life could be the best out of the whole lineup. Now, of course, I won't know until I have all three in here and I can test them for a full battery test, but that's my suspicion there. Of course, cameras are super important as well. And so we've got the three cameras set up on the back. I'm really glad we don't have any type of weird autofocus things, depth cameras, like none of that weird stuff, just three cameras. So we have the 50 megapixel wide angle lens, which Samsung talked about how they improved the dynamic range with here by up to four times uh, compared to what it was before. So you really should be getting some great photos. And we'll talk more about some of the photo features um, like Pro Raw and, and, and some other night photo things I'll talk about in a second. We also have a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens and that classic 3X optical that goes up to 30X max digital zoom. And the selfie camera is actually very different. Unlike the 10 megapixel from before, this is now a 12 megapixel selfie lens. You can shoot 4K 60 on here. So that should be great for social media or just filming yourself. Like I actually shoot a lot of videos with my front facing camera. So I'm excited to try out uh, on this lens, the, the night selfie portrait mode once I have it in a darker environment that I could actually use that. But that kind of leads me into some other features on the camera here. And Samsung is also giving us the Astro Photo feature, which will be available in Pro Raw on all three of these phones in the lineup, the 23, the Plus, and of course the Ultra, as well as the 22 lineup as well. And Pro Raw really does a lot. So it's gonna have allow you to customize like literally everything. Um, you can capture multiple exposures. And like I said, astrophoto is going to be a feature in there. Um, and you can have really long exposures on there, like four minutes or something, to get some really nice, stunning photos of the stars, which once again, I'm very excited to try that out as well. Now, I apologize for not having a full camera test in this video, but I only had a couple hours with this phone and I wasn't allowed to send myself the photos I took. So you can only see the photos through my camera, but I promise I will be making a full review with that camera test once I have this phone 
in the studio here. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see that video, if you have any interest in seeing the photos, or if you don't want to watch the video, at least maybe follow me on Twitter, where I will also share some sample photos as soon as I possibly can. Now under the hood of this phone, of course we've got, like I said, unified across the entire flagship series here, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, the same as the Ultra, like I said, we have Wi-Fi 6E, we've got both bands of 5G, which nobody really seems to care about anymore. Now one other really important thing with the S23 Plus, even though we're getting the same price we had on the 22 Plus and the 21 Plus and the 20 Plus, we're actually getting more base storage. Samsung's starting at 256 gigabytes, which in my opinion, once you're able to shoot 4K video, like you really want to have that storage. I find that 128 gigabytes really only gets me through about one year of use and then my phone gets full and I have to, you know, upgrade and pay for some plan or something like that. So 256 is really, that's a big one that I think might get overlooked, but really shouldn't. It's such a great feature. And by the way, a little side note here, Samsung obviously launched three phones and I actually have a full video on all three of them. So after you watch this video, if you want to know a little bit more about the S23 regular or the S23 Ultra, I'll have those linked like up top as well as in the description so you can see that video next. And of course, a lot of new fun things in One UI 5.1, including an upgraded Samsung Notes for real-time collaboration, new drag and drop widget system, and of course, what I'm probably most excited for, the ability to answer calls with Bixby text-to-speech, uh, hopefully a good competitor to Google's um, call screening, and maybe even better than that, because you can customize it, which I, again, I'm very excited for that feature and actually testing that out. And of course, we also have camera optimizations for social media apps, which you know, I absolutely will test the camera on all the different social media apps out there. As far as price goes, they kept the old 999 price tag, despite all the inflation that we've been seeing since the S20 three years ago. So I'm very happy to see that. And like I said, I'm actually really excited about this phone. I think out of this whole lineup, the Ultra looks really familiar. Um, I really do like the small phone, so I kind of like the S23, but the S23 Plus just feels like the perfect balance between them, that if I were buying a new Samsung phone, I would, I would really consider this one. I, I really think it's gonna be an exciting phone. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to go down and click that subscribe button because I will be coming out with that full review as soon as I have it in my hands. 